Now we can see that this elevation data has been applied to the map. Let's just remove this pinpoint for the location so we can see things a bit more clear. We do that by clicking on the X next to the search box where we searched for our location initially. Let's clear this map and add in an example where we're working with some of the health data that we've been using in Training Land. Now as we mentioned earlier, Training Land is a fictional location. We're going to remove the initial background layer from this example because Training Land is essentially sitting in the middle of the ocean. So I'm just going to deselect the OCM light layer from the layer stack. This gives us a map with no background. We discussed earlier the different layers that are available through the interface. Let's add in the boundary layer for Training Land. In order to add the boundary layer, I go to Boundary Layer and click on Edit Layer. When we open up the boundary layer, it asks us to select the organization unit levels. We've been discussing the use of organization unit levels in the data visualizer and the pivot table. The same principle applies now to these boundary layers. In this case, let's select an administrative boundary. We can select the districts for all of training land. This will display all of the boundaries for the individual districts within Training Land. There is the second tab referred to as Options. Here we can add the labels. So in this case, if we say Show Labels, it will show the labels of the districts. Once I've selected the organization unit level, I click on Update. You can see that it adds in the boundaries of the districts for Training Land. If I hover over one of these districts, it will give me the name of that particular district. Note that in this example, I have Training Land highlighted, and that's why it shows me the boundaries for all the districts in Training Land. This is the same as our other organization unit selections in other examples. So if I only select Animal Region and say Update, it will only show me the districts in Animal Region. So just make sure you have the proper parent organization unit selected when you're working through these examples. I'll switch back to showing the districts in the country.